Um, it's October time, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, as I try to swallow some V8. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, let's do this. It's Johnny Dober. Johnny Dober. Yeah! This is awesome. A celebration of rap- rap- raptastic radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. Oh, God, great. <laughs> Thank you. So turn up this turbacular radio. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. It's yes. Johnny Dober. Johnny Dober. Johnny Dober. I gotta say, we were just discussing it during the break, but that Hulk Hogan, uh, fucking Twin Towers thing yesterday. Yeah. I was laughing off and on all day yesterday because of that. And, and I just said to Jimmy, I, I, I couldn't tweak the pictures because it didn't do it justice. No, it doesn't it do it justice. It was just one of those moments that came together live on our show. Yeah. Where Hulk Hogan was the cause of the, the, the towers, uh, being knocked down. In ridiculous fashion. I fucking haven't laughed that hard since I think of Brian Regan show. Yeah. Where I'm, <laughs> where it hurt. Yep. Where it just hurt to laugh. Oh God. What, what is the show? What show am I looking at on that website there, Sam? Well, wow. That had Sambo. What are they doing in the picture? It's, uh, Woody and Jim. From Woody and Jim. 107.5, the river in Nashville. Nashville. All right. And, and there's a picture of the two of them. They're standing there, uh, and then they're doing something with their fingers. What? What? What is that? I think they're saying they have little dicks. I'm not sure. Is that it? I'm not sure, but because they're assume. doing like a teeny, like oh, when, when, that's when, you, when you put your hand up and 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 between your thumb and forefinger, you do this teeny thing. You like go, a yeah, pinch. it's this big. It's this big. It's that's a little hilarious. Teeny. Yeah, they're self mocking. Yeah. Oh, they're. Uh, someone says they're crushing our heads. That's a. That's a. Um what is that? What comedy troupe you stood the kids Canadian? in the hall? Kids in the hall. Yes, yes. I'm crushing your head. Yeah. Oh, right, right. But, but no, they're not because they don't have one eye closed. And they don't. In have order to little... crush someone's head, you got to have one eye closed yeah. and go. I'm crushing your head. Maybe they're just doing it poorly. Well, probably like everything else that uh, Woody and Jim well, tend to do. Woody and Jim is a very unique show. It's not a, a country oh. music show in what? Nashville, like you might assume. 107.5 The River is all the hits, and so this is. Oh. A top forty morning show, uh huh, hosted by two middle aged men. Oh, okay. There's no women. that sounds original. There's no hole. No. So they're out of control, I would gather. Yeah, they're crazy. There's no woman to like rein them in when they start going uh, off on a tear. Do we have right. any fezes in the lineup? There might be a fez. Oh shit. There might be a fez. <laughs> There's a guy named Fez is from across the globe. Are we doing it or not? I'm keeping my Stop ears. teasing me. I'm keeping my ears open for Fez's as we go. As a matter of fact, this station yeah. was first simply monitored for the Fez. Wow. And then I decided to give them a full induction into. Uh, are, are we talking a, a full Fez or a half a Fez? I'm gonna go full Fez. <laughs> oh, we got a full Fez. Yes. Wow, another. And it's not. It's not Woody or Jim though. And where's Ronnie B oh, with the whole Fez yeah. bit? Is he starting to see it our way? I think last time I heard. I don't him want to talk about it. Man. Last time I heard him talk about it, yeah. he said he admired that that this show was finally recognizing all the people that have ripped off Fez. Exactly. Oh, good. After he started this character, you know, so many years yes. ago. Yes. And, and is Fez gonna embrace this, or is he gonna feel like we're making fun of him again? I hope he embraces I it. I wonder. I really hope he would embrace this. This is a celebration of Fez Walker. Of course Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Of course it is. Fez. Stand proud. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, Jacktober with Woody and Jim on the fucking river in Nashville. That's right. Yeah. The fucking river. How many river stations are out there? I don't think there's uh, too many of those. No, it's a pretty no, original yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Woody and are Jim. There a lot of them? Or are you kidding? Oh, uh, there's a million. Oh, there are rivers. Okay. There's probably a river in every I wonder why. What, fucking city. What's the theme of the river? It's peaceful. It's nice. It's relaxing. Ah, Everyone enjoys a river. Everyone. Ah, like, oh. Rivers are dirty. Yeah, that's hate rough. rivers. Oh. <laughs> you hate a river. <laughs> fucking rivers. How do you hate a river. I a literally weirdo. fucking do hate rivers. You? They just remind me of dirty water moving quickly. <laughs> I like to shit in every river I see. You can't <laughs> hate a river. I want to buy a helicopter and just shit out of it into rivers. <laughs> I love. I love what Jimmy hates. Just hate rivers. I really you do. You can't hate the river. There's a river in uh, Hartford, Connecticut there. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. See, the rivers, rivers are all over the fucking place. A lot of place. rivers. A lot of rivers. All right, Woody and Jim talk about the blackberry outage. Yeah, you know, blackberries were out. Uh, or they've been out. They've been out They're for finally fucking back. a year. <laughs> As more, longer. They suck. As the iPhone introduced their new operating system, blackberry went down. Um, but Woody and Jim hit on the topical story. Mm. 
But then they went in a different direction with a little audio entertainment help. Oh, uh, oh that's right. Uh, song right, parody time. To, uh, yes. We haven't had any song parodies, no! as Jack told yes. us. Oh. I was wondering when we were going to start listening to some song parodies. And you'll notice the staple of the morning show. Yeah. There's a great segue into uh, into the song parody as the story moves. Can can I ask you something? I I, I don't want I don't wanna, I don't wanna, uh, maybe I don't want the spoiler. But no spoilers. Will, will we will we hear any shoehorning? I don't want. It's not a oh. place for spoilers. Is this could be a fun Jocktober, or are we going to get really angry? Because I don't like the angry Jocktobers anymore. Well, I kind of yesterday well, we had a lot of fun with this. Yeah, I think there is a place for angry Jocktobers. Yeah. Um, you m- might get angry, but you'll have some fun. Um, and so I think I think there'll be both. All right, here I we go. I hope anyway. Here we go, Jocktober with Woody and Jim on the river in Nashville. People who have a BlackBerry can do calls and texts, but they're not getting their email. They're not being able to log on to the internet. Right. Uh, kind of those things, especially email. That's like the, what the BlackBerry was made to yeah, do. Yeah, it was, it was all about oh. business. You know? Yeah. So, you know, this will seriously affect the 14 people in America who still use a BlackBerry. <laughs> oh, so well, our fair. hearts go out to you. <laughs> but it's not just affecting us, the bottom 99%. Uh, you know, elite members of the uh, music society are also highly affected, like oh. Wiz Khalifa. Nah, uh-huh, don't know what it is. Ain't nothing I can do. It messed up big. Nah, uh-huh, try to send some. Even check my inbox, got none. Even have to write a letter and everything. My Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry. Right to my, 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 my Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry. Worth the way. Woody and Jim in the morning. Uh, what happened there? <laughs> what the fuck? Woody and Jim. It was uh, it was a song parody, I think. How yeah. much audio do you need? And it was At just one buried. Time. It was buried. See, we, we've you learned... You have sweepers, you have a song parody, you have them talking over it, you have them laughing over it. Over the years, we've learned one thing with the uh, song parodies that we don't do anymore anyway, but, uh, the, you know, in the day uh, when we were uh, early on we as dabbled. the Obi and Anthony we show, a it bit. was still a big thing to do, like, song parodies. And do right. it yourself, not, not you know, get a right. service or well, something like that. Well, that's a service, that one. Yeah, of yeah, course it was it done is. by a service. That was horrible. It, it was, first of all, you can't bury the vocals. Which they did. You need to bring the vocals up and be very, you know, well, you need to enunciate the jokes. You bury the vocals if you're not confident in you're the You're not song, confident though. in the jokes. That's a right. trick. In the jokes. And then it's got to sound like the song. The original Wiz song is black and yellow, black and yellow. So uh-huh. the whole actual chorus was shoehorned. My Blackberry, my Blackberry, my Blackberry. <laughs> <my> black <laughs> 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 no, that, really? yeah, the whole chorus was shoehorned. The, the entire gist of, okay, we're getting to it. This is it. And it was a shoehorn. Like I'll, I, I've been known to maybe shoehorn one or two lines just mm-hmm. to get it in there, but uh, to, the to shoehorn the, the chorus yeah. is uh, it's hack. Yeah. I had a good song parody for my the Blackberry with Sweet Caroline. <laughs> oh, you did? How did it, how did it go? My Blackberry, the papa, it doesn't get my emails anymore. That's pretty good. Who who'd you do the uh, song with? Just myself. Oh, you didn't have your band? Oh, Bernard Embers was back in the Of course they were. <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy. <laughs> <Oop>. <laughs> Chip forgot his own band. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, all right. So uh, we learn song parodies, and they buy the song parodies. They love Prep Burger. Is that really a Prep Burger bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't oh, do that yeah. themselves. How come we don't have, by the way, uh, I'll, I'll ask you, just remind me off there to ask you for a bit suggestion. Uh-huh. I don't want to say it on the air, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Also, remember when we were trying to figure out Thomas Dolby's uh, thing? Yeah. Is it really Dolby surround sound? No, no way. way. It's they not, had, right? No. They had Dolby before yeah, they had to. Dolby. But He's, was he the Dolby guy and then said, well, I, I'm going to do something else besides the Dolby surround no sound? No way. No. I'm telling Dolby you, though. Dolby was I, around before. Somebody get to Thomas, Thomas Dolby, Dolby. involved because I'm telling is. you, he is a fucking rich man. It's, I think it's from Ringtone. No, it's the show. Ringtone? Dolby yeah. Gillis. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> Ow. <Yeah. laughs> you fired that one right at me. I really did. <laughs> Lightning bolt from my finger was <laughs> <and> dud. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. Uh, Woody and Jim on the river in Nashville. Today's featured Jocktober show. <laughs> Well, we get to hear a kind of funny story about a waitress. Yes. Uh, kind of funny story well, about and, a waitress. And uh, one thing as we move when along. When do we get to hear the Fez? That's all I care about. He's on there. On this track? Not on this track. Fuck. 
as we he just does the entertainment reports, so he doesn't do the whole show. All right. But as we move on with the tracks, you'll notice that one thing Woody and Jim like are not only each not only their own but each other's jokes. They love laughing at those jokes. Do they really laugh at each other's <sighs> stuff? Very heartily. They find each other very funny. They're, all yeah, the time. All the time. Kind of a funny story, uh, you know, if you... Uh... You should never <laughs> say kind of a funny no. story. Unless it's a, a drunk driving accident following. <laughs> right. Oh, my God, never say that. Kind of a funny story, uh, you know, if you uh, are working in the restaurant or the bar business, yeah. uh, a lot of your uh, income comes from tips. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah. it hurts a little bit if you don't get a tip. They don't pay much. Yeah. In Seattle, a, uh, a guy stiffed a girl who was a bartender and uh, used his credit card and uh, wrote out the uh, the bill, signed it, and instead of leaving a tip, which he left nothing, he, he wrote kind of a zero down for yeah. the tip. Huh? But he wrote under his signature, he says, hey, you could stand to lose a few pounds. Wow. <laughs> so, so that was his tip yeah, yeah, to her that was, was to lose oh. weight. So, uh, yeah. you know, she didn't get angry. Or <laughs> He's a piece of shit, but I love him. <laughs> that's what you get, fat bartender. <laughs> Story, yeah, but, <laughs> story's funny, Sam. But that's what I said. You see immediately. Yeah. Aunt had a line, Jim had a line, we're talking. Yeah. The story's funny, but they don't go with the fat angle. No? They don't Why go with not? The because they don't want to hurt people's feelings. Just call oh. her a pig for the fucking 20 minutes. That's that was her what tip. This show would do. Her, you of could course. stand to lose a few pounds. You could stand to lose a few pounds. I'm going to give the guy an A plus on his radio voice, by the way. You like his radio voice? I like it. Yeah, it sounds deep. more, it's deep and kind of natural. Yeah, he's, natural. Not, he's not bringing the voice down into yeah, this yeah. area. Right. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> to lose weight. So, uh, you know, she didn't get angry or anything. She just did what everybody does now. She went right to Facebook. And okay. she posted a picture of the of the bill with his signature. Okay. And so within just a matter of hours, they found out the guy's name, where he worked, what frat he went to, you know, all this stuff. <laughs> Everything. And, and they've organized all the servers and restaurants and bars in uh, Seattle are, uh, you know, organizing to make sure he never gets served again. Uh, Why not? That's just a dumb story. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see the picture of this guy? No. I love him. It's not another restaurant that would care that much. Will you stop no. it? Exactly. Maybe they should organize some fat so it doesn't get hired. To, you try to go have a drink and forget your troubles, and you got to look at the fucking, this old blimp city in front of you. Slob. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to look at Shelly Long, not you. <laughs> okay, oh, see, now, if, that's the ultimate revenge. If they were like, you know, maybe us, they would want to serve him. That's right. If so I were that could... guy, I wouldn't go out. I yeah. wouldn't eat anything a server handed to me. I wouldn't drink anything they poured for me. <laughs> well, they're doing this guy a favor by yeah, not serving him. Exactly. I guess you know, I guess they found out he works at uh, Microsoft. So oh, really? finally, they found something to hate more than Microsoft Vista. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I gotta agree with them on that. Hey, um, this guy's not that bad. By the way, uh, the Facebook. I'm reading is uh, already <laughs> starting to get a few uh, posts. Their well, their their face. This is very different than past uh, October, Sam. Y yes, Sam. Somebody at 107.5 The River thinks burning embers rocks. <laughs> oh, that's nice. cool. Facebook, okay. Yes. Can I can, quickly? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's really not that bad. Yeah. Um, but they had to fucking take the side of the fat. Broad. Yeah, yeah, the fat broad. Well, they don't. Yeah, they don't go for the you jokes that are funny. You can't hurt people and they're playing words hurt we would know. so go with the guy yeah i want to see what yeah. he looks like because he is obviously a piece of shit i want to see his fucking face yeah. sam's trying to find him he's spelling seattle with two e's in a row <laughs> <laughs> two e's in a row uh, well, well, uh, all right yeah, there's the receipt. picture of the of, ps of the yeah. of the uh, bill there yeah. what a jerk off uh you want to continue here yeah but that i want to see this guy i'm obsessed with this guy yeah not the first time Jimmy said that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> I'm not, though. I like girls. I know. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Social media turns to slander? Uh-oh. What? What happened What now? a jerk off. Doesn't leave a tip. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, move on before we lose all the energy in this Jocktober <laughs> bit. Woody and Jim on the river in Nashville. That last break worked so well. Let's do it again an hour later. And why not give the same jokes you just heard with over-the-top laughs? All right, that's fucked up now. Did they, now, did they just replay it, though? Did they up. just replay it or did they retell it? They retell it and make believe this, uh, yeah, uh, doing it for the uh, first time. Right. Right. Yeah, go through that clip and then real. And this, I'm giving it an hour. It's probably more like 40 minutes. That they went and did Jesus. the exact same story. 
Well, they got to worry about PPMs there, Sam. They could do two stories. Uh, interesting story came out. You know, a lot of people who work in the uh, you know restaurant and bar industry, uh, they live a lot of their lives off tips. Sure, you don't get paid much. The tips is where you make your money. This is kind of cool. A uh, waitress bartender in Seattle had a guy come in, uh, you know, charge her about thirty bucks, left no tip, used his credit card. And at the bottom where he signed his name. This, this, wait, wait. This is not a replay? No. No. No, no it's That's just, just terrible. Look, it's 40 minutes. Why would you do that? I know sometimes we tell the same story, but it's two years later <laughs> in context of something that and comes I, up. And I think yeah. we always add new yeah. stuff to our our go-to stories. We have yeah. go-to stories, yes. Find oh, a yeah. new angle on it. And, and, right. And in the past, me and Ed absolutely would do something twice in a show, but we were just like replay it replay it like oh man this happened earlier today it's worth replaying boom here here you go we we're not pretending that we're doing it for the first time and i also don't think that the last break was something that you and aunt would have said now that was worth replaying oh no no, right no No, you're right that's gold it was only those really over the top things that we just knew were just right gold like Aunt just said yes signed his name crossing out the tip area he wrote you could stand to lose a few pounds. Whoa! Oh! So, mm. that, oh! Yeah, maybe that was his tip. But wow, uh, they suck. And Wait, they've I'm never turning. heard it before. Yeah, he's like, oh, whoa! And, and whoa. you take the side of a guy if you're two guys. You have a second. We're two guys. <laughs> you take the side of the guy. <laughs> you have a second opportunity to make the fat jokes. Why would and they you be still don't? No. Why would they be outraged? Whoa! You, of course, oh, it's like I never heard it before. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. An hour oh, ago. Minute. Yeah, maybe that was his tip. But wow, uh, she uh, she didn't get mad. She just did what everybody does now. Went right to Facebook and posted a picture of the receipt <laughs> with beta. his signature. Yeah. This is Groundhog Day radio. How do you know Crazy. it's not the same thing though? It's really not. It was worded differently. Okay. Yep. Wow. Oh, you're it's, trapped. Trapped. Oh, I mean, it's definitely different. Yeah, the O's in there. Definitely. And uh, within hours, they found out his full name, his Facebook page, where he worked, what fraternity he went to, <laughs> and uh, in Seattle, they're organizing a boycott to make sure he never gets served again. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. I would think that they would jump at the chance to serve this guy. Yeah, yeah. I can't <laughs> wait to. You- what? What? What's what, what? Yes, I Could, swear to God, it's different. Can we play the first one? Are you sure? Positive. No, I, I believe Sam. We don't it's, have to. It's die. the same, but it's almost like they have a script. Right. Like it's they like, wrote, okay, I'm gonna uh, redo my. When you would just go off the cuff. Talking about it, yeah. And, and maybe says come what up joke with, and everything. It's the same. The exact they same each joke. do the same jokes. But yeah, yeah. I can't wait till you come in my place. Uh, yes, I will make a special hamburger for you. <laughs> that's different. I'll pour that's you a beer. That's funny. Can I watch yeah. you drink it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, uh, they, he works at uh, Microsoft. Really? So, yeah. So I guess they no. found the... Oh, no. They're not no, 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 no. The, even the kicker line? No, no, well, no. they realize they're looking at their jokes and they go, okay, let's both admit no, to no, ourselves. No. Let's go to that one. The Vista line is the line here. Oh, no, 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 no. So if we're going to do this again 40 minutes later... We got to make sure we close with that thing. Oh no! Said uh, Microsoft. Really? So, yeah. So I guess they found the one thing at Microsoft that people hated more than Microsoft Vista. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the same kicker line. And then they both laugh as if it's like brand new and. What phonies? <laughs> <laughs> they just are so amused by each other. But why can't you just? Bring up the story again and, and go, yeah, we brought this up earlier. We talked about and, this earlier, and, yeah. And then just kind of have a conversation. Maybe something different comes out of it. No, because then they would they they run out of jokes. That's what happens uh, with PPM and the obsession over who's listening when. Right. It's like, it's just terrible. I've gone through the prep burger services. Yeah. I don't know this to be a fact, but I do know that prep burger will give you wacky news stories and will give you jokes about the news stories. Yeah. There's a good possibility that oh, they that's... just got the jokes from the prep right. service. Oh, so they're not even their own jokes. Like, so they don't have any more jokes, so they got to use the same ones again. They do do that. Prep do, can we? Burger. Do we belong to Prep Burger? Fuck no. We yeah. should just so we get stuff off at market. Oh man. They used to. They used to give yeah. you a sheet with all like the the headlines, and then with a one liner. Right. And then you're sitting there. How how can you be proud of that? Oh god. Reading someone else's lines. Oh. Yeah. Just let them do the show. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Like a uh, good line there would have been something like, "What? What is this? Like, how come they ain't making like Microsoft? At least he's not dead." Oh, chip. Uh, I hear they're they're really pounding the uh, yeah, Facebook. <laughs> <page. laughs> Are they being mean? <laughs> That's Bobo all he cares care. about. Bobo is a sexy beast. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah. Woody and Jim are as funny as elderly rape. <laughs> um, Ramon and these guys fuck children. Holy Ramon the river staff gets AIDS from black gentlemen. <laughs> um, they, just, they have their standard lines too, don't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, tell the server who gets told she's fat story again. I've only heard you do it every five minutes. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> The river you home for favorite laughter and closet halls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I made cumsies. <laughs> Fake laughter. Paul Hargis is a serial rapist. <laughs> Sam Roberts' mom's box. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on. Get ass raped by Hulk Hogan. Um, That's great. Oh, boy. All right. They're, they're, they're at, at it again. <laughs> okay. He's a they, did, yeah, they posted a picture saying, Snooki joins Woody and Jim coming up at 640. And now people are posting things like Snooky is a fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about her elephant ass. Ugh, Fuck Snooky. Disgusting. Topic for today. Pig. Blueberries. Are they good as a standalone <laughs> fruit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> continuing with Jack Tober, Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River in Nashville. Woody and Jim comment on Beyonce's possible fake pregnant belly. Oh. That's right. The way two men would. Yeah, you know, a couple oh, guys boy. talking about whether or not yeah. Beyonce's really pregnant. Sure, two guys always talk about that. Yeah. She might not really be pregnant? Well, there's like one clip of her sitting down and it looks like her belly folds a little bit, so people are saying there was a fake pregnant belly, but she's maybe it someone else is having the kid for her. Uh, That's surrogate, it. I mean, but surrogate. they're making it look like it's so she's she's pregnant. Ruin, ruin I think belly. she's probably pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yes. Isn't right. her belly very important to her? Yeah, but you could lose the weight if you. Yeah. Uh, like I was looking on. Um, the site yesterday at a woman who had big fat pussy and was doing squat thrusts in in um in um in sheer panties. <laughs> Disney.com. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> no, you like the the thing was she just shows off her fat vagina through her sheer panties and you and you're pretending that you're laying there under the floor while she does squats over your oh, face. Oh, well, it was hot. Interesting. But she had like a little bit of the lasagna belly, but she was toned. Like she was in good shape. I don't like that. Yeah, it was like no, even I, I, even if it's really toned, sometimes you can't you can't get fix past it. that. Thing, but then yeah. some women do. Some women get rid of it, and it's on, it's nothing. I don't like that lasagna thing. Yeah. I think it's after a couple of kids. Yeah, probably. After like seven or eight. Yeah, maybe. All right, here we go. Woody and uh, Jim comment on Beyonce's possible fake pregnant belly. 107.5 The River with Woody and Jim in the morning. 625. We have 62 degrees. Uh, going to be rainy today with a high in the middle 60s. More rain for tonight and then clearing up mid-70s for tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> there's an Stop doing weather on the radio, please. you got to come back from the song with the weather. Please. Do you realize that the a quick press mention, like of a button, huh? at a press of a virtual button, you can get the weather. Plus, in, in fucking amazing localized detail, yeah. you can get the weather. Everybody has that on their phone. The radio just doesn't know how to do things differently. They've Stop been, with the weather. They've been doing weather for forever, so we got to continue doing weather. You, you could talk about the weather in a, in a conversation, like we right. bitch and complain, like, ah, fucking rain today. The yeah, can't stand sucks, that it's getting whatever, colder out blah, blah, or something blah. like that. Yeah. But you look at the weather on your phone before you leave the house. Then you yes. get in the car, and when the radio tells you the weather, you go, yeah, I know. There's windows. Yeah, yeah. I know hey, it's raining. Oh, look at what two guys yeah, just talking <laughs> yeah. about the weather. Hey. We're a couple of guys. <laughs> and, 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 Allegedly. Can't wait to hear those two. <laughs> Fucking Thailand pervert. <laughs> 60s morning for the night and clearing up mid-70s for tomorrow. Uh, there's an interesting kind of a head-scratcher story about Beyonce. Oh. You know, she's a... Uh, Says she's pregnant. Uh, Jay Z and her are gonna have a baby. Woody says she says she's pregnant well, because there's a little suspicion right now. Right there's a there's a story that she's wearing a fake belly, a baby bump prosthetic, and you gotta wonder if she's really pregnant. Why would she be wearing that Kick unless she it. wants to look more pregnant than she <laughs> is? That's yeah, and if that's with, the case, yeah. why would she want to attempt murder? <laughs> it's a head scratcher. See if fucking it foam is. rubber uh, or jello you, comes out. You hear them laughing. <laughs> Yeah, you go back a little bit because as they're <laughs> posing this setup, all the single ladies, all what? <laughs> they're already laughing. Yeah, really? yeah, when they haven't given any <laughs> jokes yet. But she wants to look more pregnant than she is. And if that's the case, why would she want to do that? Well, it's a head scratcher, it for is. sure. It is. Uh, we've got a lot of people uh, chiming in on Facebook, uh, the 1075 The River fan page. And uh, also some texters have been giving great theories. We've got uh, Dawn. She texted us an awesome theory, and we called her back. Tell everybody what you were saying. Yeah, about why she's wearing the fake belly? I've got two of them. I think that she could possibly be storing snacks, you know, in the fake belly. <laughs> it's a storage <laughs> you know? department, like a kangaroo with... <laughs> Yeah. It has that little pouch. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Like, maybe exactly. it's 
If that bitch called our show with that, we we go beat it, sister. Really? We give her some laughs. Hit the bricks. Oh, snacks in her we face. We never belly. put that. Hit on the it. bricks. It would be like, shut up, you Jimmy. You go. What'd you say? <laughs> uh, your phone uh, petered uh, out. Chip would love it. I wouldn't laugh if Ozzy said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, somebody on their Facebook page is advertising Snooky coming up at seven thirty eight, fifteen eight, twenty four, and nine oh one. These guys get it. I love it. Uh, uh, who, the, storing snacks and that's that's storing, fun radio. Storing yeah. snacks in her fake belly. Yeah, look out! You know, in the fake belly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a storage yeah. compartment, like a kangaroo. With, yeah. It has that little pouch. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, exactly. Maybe it's refrigerated. You get hungry when you're pregnant, you know. <laughs> or she could be trying to balance out her big booty. Booty in the back and yeah. a bump in the front. That's mm. good training for when Kim Kardashian finally gets pregnant. <laughs> oh, right? Isn't it though? Can I tell you something that's not, I don't have a clip of, but I just wanted to tell you? Uh, yeah. Please. 40 minutes later. No. No. <laughs> no, no. They reset up the premise. Yeah. And then they said, hey, somebody's texting us. Let's give them a call. And they played the same call with the same Jeez. jokes. Holy 40 shit. 40 minutes later. That's lazy, They man. played the same call right, with the same Right, that is joke. lazy. You think we're lazy? That's lazy so shit. They, they, I swear. And after, I didn't give you the clip because it's, it is the same recorded call, but they didn't set it up as in, hey, we got this call earlier today. Wait till you hear this girl and her snacks line. They set it up as, oh, we just, let's call her. I like how they go, yeah, we let's call her. And well, she's right there. And she's there. And, and and now they, they didn't replay the bit. Obviously, they they, they talked about it. They reset Again, it up as if it was a new up, premise, but played the same call and said we're we're getting our Facebook. And by the way, I I shouldn't have left that Facebook plug in. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, crazy! But uh, they're on a clock. Yeah, yeah. A lot of radio guys have to be on a clock. But it's whether like, at this time we're gonna do this bit here, we're gonna do redo the bit uh, over here. They actually have recycle it. They actually have four pieces of paper with a clock on it, and they have to like you yeah, know yeah. write in what they're gonna do at every moment. It's too Whoa. bad because the two guys sound like they're uh, seasoned pros. Yes. It sounds like they could be doing better radio. This yeah. is your. That's what I think is bothering yeah, yeah. me. Here. I've uh, I've I've heard plenty of radio shows that will literally replay the six o'clock hour at nine o'clock. Which I yeah. kind of get, or replay the six o'clock hour at eight o'clock, but never have I heard such blatant uh, taking the same things and just re-saying them forty minutes later. Because it it comes off as phony, yeah. you know. You, you, if you're of if course. you're laughing or acting surprised at something that you know you've already talked about, that's crazy. And do they play music? Yep. Oh my god! They play a lot it's of music. Easiest a job lot of in the music. world. They play like so. They're, if they're playing a lot of music, that's a lot. That's all that time they don't have to do any bits. They probably and then they they only need a few bits for the the entire show. They talk maybe if fifteen minutes an hour, maybe maybe fifteen minutes mm -hmm. an hour. And within at that fifteen most. minutes an hour, they're doing the same bit twice. Yes, if, if you're saying forty minutes, top of the hour and bottom of the hour. So, so what yeah. we just heard this Beyonce thing is the only thing they did in one hour. Most, yes, absolutely. Yes, because then they did Holy it. They fuck. did another break about Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Then they did some way that they did their entertainment report, and then they went back to the first break about Beyonce and did it again. Oh, you could do that radio in your sleep. It's amazing. How do you get one of those gigs? It sounds great. I'm not kidding. They hang out in Nashville all day. They don't have to prep at all. Holy shit. So the, if they're doing a four-hour show, they're doing maybe four to five quick bits for the entire show. Yeah, and they're not even bits. You have to have people calling up with lines like she's hiding snacks in her belly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hysterical lines That's like bit that. That's bit one. Anthony, I'm proud to say it's time for another Fez. Ah, now this is a third uh, person Fez coming is on, from the, across the globe. on the scene. Uh, well, how does he fit into this? Intern stuff? Adam is his name. Intern Adam. Matter of fact, let me show you a picture. Well, let's get insult Fez. No, that's what not... What are you trying to say? Fez oh, is like an intern? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a little disrespectful. Oh, he's not, good. He's not really not good. an intern. Ooh. That's intern Adam. He's dreamy. Exactly. He's... Maybe I'm saying sexy is... Uh, uh, sexy. Fez is a sexy young man. Maybe you are. Look right. how attractive Maybe intern Adam is. Wow. That's a model picture, by the way. He's model. He's a model, right? He should be if he's oh, not. Oh, my Jesus, God. Sam. You're getting I'm mad. saying he's very attractive. you got to push that shit down. He's a good-looking guy. Turn it I'd, off. Uh -huh. I'd, I'd, <laughs> Turn it I'd, off, Sam. I'd spend a weekend in a tree fort with him. <laughs> I'm sure you would, Concho Pete. <laughs> Concho Pete. <laughs> See, that was just made up. <laughs> Love Concho Pete. All right, <laughs> Eric, write that horse. joke down. We'll do it again in 20 minutes. <laughs>
Concho beat. Concho beat rules. Uh, uh, we oh, get yeah. a taste of intern Adam. Oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> and he's a oh, fez. Yum. <laughs> hey, Jim, are you performing at the Stress Factory November 3rd through 5th? Oh, yeah, I mean, why, why are you bringing that up? I just found that out looking at uh, 107.5 The Rivers Facebook In Nashville? Page. Oh, oh, that's, that's nice. That's a nice plug. <laughs> Thank you. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, then the guys laugh for reasons I'm not sure of. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, they do a story after Intern Adam pipes in with his entertainment tease, and then they start laughing. I'm not quite sure why. Ah, morning. The perfect time to irrationally hate everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got sleeves coming up after the break. What's up? What are the networks offering Amanda Knox for her first title? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm boy. obsessed with fezes across the globe. Nashville has a fez. The network offering Amanda Knox. And they're all stealing this thing. The fez invented they're this stealing character fezes so long ago. Yes. Soul, oh, man. yeah. Fez probably, uh, as far as I know, really kind of worked on the character. Yeah, he and developed honed it. it. And this yes. guy is just reading an entertainment report. Yeah, yeah. The fez off. How many fezes do we have now? Is this our third? Yeah, we well no, we've had two that we featured on the show. I have one in my back pocket, and this one. I mean, that's three I, or four. Yeah, I only acknowledge one fez. That's right. Oh. What are the networks offering Amanda Knox for her first sit-down interview? Oh, they all want to talk to her. Yes, it's a bidding war. Yeah, it's a ridiculous amount of money. You're going to find out what it is in the sleeves coming up after the break. Well, she's going to uh, hold out like Chris Johnson, right? And then you know, get her money and then you know, not say much, <laughs> not deliver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> deliver. Talk to like 56 seconds <laughs> and disappoint. And then, 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 then say, "I'll try to do better." <laughs> We're all looking at each what other. The what the fuck? Happened? Did you hear? As they're setting up, the one guy going. <laughs> uh-huh. He was getting head from Adam. <laughs> oh, is that what was yeah. happening? <laughs> By the way, I also have my suspicions that Adam is nowhere near the studio. Oh, oh really? No. There was no interaction there. There, there wasn't. You think that might be a pre-tape? Oh yes. Oh, can we hear? Wait, wait. Mm. I, mean, I don't know. That's my suspicion. Okay. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Now that we have that little bit of information, when, we should listen. When he a does the bit. sleaze. Yeah. Yeah. It's an isolated segment, mm. not an interactive segment. It's right. isolated. Right. Intern Adam, right. and now we go back to Woody and Jim. So right. it's Woody and Jim, and then on the other side, it's Intern Adam. Well, here's a taste of Intern Adam's sleaze. Yeah. Let's get sleazy. 57 seconds of sleaze with Intern Adam. Jack Osborne surprised his mom and dad, Ozzy and Sharon, with the announcement that he is going to be a dad. It all went down on CNN's Pierce Morgan tonight, where Jack was very gleeful about... His engagement. Oh, and by the way, this will be Sharon's first time at being a grandma. It's a little sleazy for you. Oh, that's sleazy. Yeah. Being the a way, grandma. I just got word too so that I have I... a cold that won't go away. <laughs> the guy that intros the sleaze. <laughs> yeah. Actually, could you play like the first five seconds of that clip again? Oh, come on, really? Yeah, play the... <laughs> Let's get sleazy. 57 that... seconds of sleaze with yeah. internet. Okay, that's. E Rock's telling me that's Jeff Berlin, the guy that voices the virus, too. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Doesn't he work here? Fuck? No. Oh, he doesn't. Not in this building, anyway. Oh. Well, get rid of him. I don't want to be associated yeah. with some river station. <laughs> get a new guy. I don't know if he's a character over there, but yeah, I wanted to give you the sleaze so you could judge for yourself whether Intern Adam is the Nashville Fez clone. I got to go half a Fez on this one. You're only giving him half a Fez? Yeah, there's a little, like, Andy Dick in him as well. No. You think so? Andy Dick. Mm. Whatever. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I fucking hate Andy Dick. It's a dick job. What? I fucking Who hate likes Andy him? Dick. And not um, in a good way, because oh. I think he kind of wants people to He's like, wild. Ooh, he's, look out. He's stinks. crazy. It looks like there's 58 comments on the Snooky picture. Should I click and see what they are? Yeah, let's let's click. Uh, this is the river's Facebook, not ours. One says, yippee skippy. One says... Her snatch smells like the dumpster behind Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> now, those are stinky uh, dumpsters. One says, Snooky is AIDS burger in paradise. Uh, then that's followed up with, wow, mean guys. And then another one says, Snooky gave me HPV. Uh, <laughs> Frunkus. Looks like, tss, looks like two big blueberries or something. Tss, tss, tss. Uh, Keep your hands and feet away from its mouth. <laughs> um, Casey Anthony is an awesome babysitter. Yeah. Snooky's going to 
get some Woody and suck some Slim Jim. <laughs> um, shut up. Have you ever seen her tits? Uh, that snatch is full of clitty litter. Uh, oh my God, so much cum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a baby hippo, one person asks. Oh, all right. I uh, hope you have a big food budget, one person suggests. Yeah. And she's going to eat them uh, out of house and home, as they say. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get back to Woody and Jim, the River in Nashville. Today's Jocktober. Uh, it's time for Gender Wars. Yeah. Oh, shit. There are some original... Uh, Gender uh, Wars sounds like Battle of the Sexes, though. Well, how does Battle of the Sexes work? Is that where... Well, a yeah. guy would get uh, a call in... And have to answer questions about women. And that's hard to do. Yep. And women would have to answer questions that uh, primarily men would, would know the answer to, but women not so much. Is that it? That's been done before? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, See? Yeah. I, oh, oh, yeah. 10,000 times. I'm sorry, Sam. We never taught Sam that. Yeah, I didn't know. Ah, oh, see? Oh, I thought boy. these guys were ripping Scorch off. I thought that was the original. <laughs> At least to that. Hey, they oh, yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. They ripped me off. Yes, yeah. he did. At least I'm now in 8 billion homes. <laughs> <laughs> Is he up to 8 billion? Oh, he must be. be at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, at least they changed the name from Battle of the Sexes to Gender Wars. Gender Wars. It's time no. for men and women. No! That's fucking good! No, not it's a Star Wars time. gender wars! Ba, 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 ba. Oh, God! Their face no. is getting pounded. Well, that's not nice, Sam. I know, I didn't want them to. No, I uh, Hoo hoo, Robin, they stole my Fez. Hoo hoo. <laughs> got a Fez uh, the Felcher, too. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> Intern Adam is a standalone fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cum chugger? What? Who's the cum chugger? <laughs> Intern Adam broadcasts from a men's bathhouse. Uh, I hear Intern Adam gives free prostate exams. <laughs> Snooky is face sitting Adam. Uh, hey, Jim's plans for the weekend occupy Woody's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, B i l l t e t l e y. Bill Tetley. Bill Tetley, of course. Nice. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. One person just writes. Tss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as we oh. continue. It's time for men and women to answer questions for gender wars. Given questions that the other ones should know, but do they? Let's Can find I out. We have our contestants like now that? for the ladies in the audience. We have Megan in Springfield. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Good luck. And for the guys, we have Terry in Murfreesboro. Megan, what's hey, Terry. What's the best way to scratch morning. your balls? Hey uh, we... Um. Is it uh, between thumb and forefinger with a roll? Yes, it is. How'd you know that? <laughs> you don't even have balls. But, Terry, what's the best thing to do if you're pregnant and you feel a spot of blood on your ankle? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Hey uh, we learned this morning that uh, Hugh Jackman admitted oh. to uh, peeing his pants. Mm -hmm. What an embarrassment. Um, oh. Megan, at any time in your life, uh, have you ever had an accident? Oh my God! No, can I see wait, a picture wait. of this guy? Yeah, I just got some info. Oh, uh, which one? Intern Woody Adam. Jim. <laughs> Let me get my phone out. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure who's talking, but that's the guy. This is Woody here. That's Jim in the blazer. I would assume that Woody is the. Uh oh, what do you got? What do you got? You got some? You got? You got a scoop? Uh oh, I'm tapping out. You know Woody? I have to tap out. Oh, oh no! my God! I have to tap out. Who is it? He's, oh, no fucking way. Oh, no, what happened? You were, you were unbiasedly attacking him before. Oh, no. Who is it? I knew the, I knew the guy sounded like he knew radio. You said, you I were saying they sound very professional. I, and that you felt bad because you felt like, oh, no. Dude, you have no idea. Oh, he just fucking, oh, my God. I started. Plant foot firmly in mouth. Are you ready for this? I started my radio career with that guy, Jim. <laughs> yes. We went Which to one? college the the together. Left? The guy on the right, I haven't seen on him. On the right? I that haven't seen him in years. The guy right? in the blazer or the guy in the shirt? To the here? right. Oh, that guy, guy in the blazer. So you started doing radio with him where? In Geneseo. Geneseo. College radio. College uh, radio. 
Jim, oh, it's Jim Chandler. It's at, I, oh my god. Oh no. This is the magic of Jocktober. It really is. This really is. Dude, I started in radio with that guy. He's been around for fucking ever. Oh, Jim Chandler. No, oh no. You said you didn't say that much bad stuff. We <laughs> actually you were complimenting him. Are there any are there any quotes? Oh, I hope no. so. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we started together. And what? he got fucked, by the way. Oh, well, good. Uh, yeah. Somebody's saying, Opie says hi. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but then it's, like then it's, this, uh, this Kurt guy Love says, okay, I take it all back. Opie says you're okay. Now it's time to kill Sam. <laughs> uh, I have to tap out. Uh, He's actually, like, a really, really cool, nice dude. Oh, sure. oh we started you, together. Uh, Greg Hughes says, "What's up, man?" Uh, oh no, it's definitely him. I, I checked my Twitter, and someone goes, "Jim's a Geneseo graduate." I'm like, "Uh oh, oh my god!" I, I, the whole time I'm listening to his voice, like I, th this voice sounds familiar, but maybe it's just the radio thing because a lot Whoops. of guys sound alike. Well, that's the danger of Jacktober. As long as you guys have been he actually, in the business, you're gonna end up, you know. Yeah, he actually on toes. Was, he was ahead of me in college radio. He was running the whole fucking station really and then he got fucked what happened? by uh todd <laughs> of scott, and, scott todd. and todd fucking this guy jim was doing a really good show i think it was in uh connecticut yeah. with uh wait how did this work was it albany with todd jim chandler Greg Hughes sends his regards. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to just call the station and say, hey, what's up? I haven't heard from you in years. You Michael Corleone to? sends his regards. <laughs> you should probably call the station and apologize for, for all Dude, this. Yeah. It's a good story, though, because he had a really good uh, morning show with Todd, that type of radio. Todd Pettengale? And then Todd got recruited to come to New York, leaving Jim behind. Oh, uh, and now Jim is stuck Was with it Woody. Albany? They were called uh, Jim and Todd or something like that. Yeah, Fly 92 in Albany. Fly oh. 92. Like, they were, had a really good show in Albany, and then fucking Todd got the call to come to New York. Where I know that. Oh, oh that's tapping. hilarious. Yeah, I'll but you tapped, tapped with like a track and a half left. <laughs> this <laughs> would have been useful information thing. a half well, hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. Can we play the track and just, just listen to it nicely? This is one of these. Yeah, yeah. Without goofing on it? This, I think we this, this is one nicely. of these rare things that I swear I'm done. Yeah, oh, I, so I can't even fucking fake it. Fair the, enough. He is the coolest fucking dude. Fair enough, sir. Fair I, enough. I don't know what he's been up to for the last But I would like to hear years, the rest of the track. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, of course. Hear the track. We just, yeah, yeah. You guys can do whatever the fuck I'll you want. Nice. Oh, he <laughs> sounds like a nice enough guy. You don't have to be nice. We weren't really going bullshit on him either. Right, it's not like they got a hole. A oh, no. <laughs> because this one says, Jim Chandler, colon, uh, Greg Hughes says you're a cocksucker. <laughs> oh, please <laughs> say that. Oh, the, you might oh, the listeners are brutal. Opie says keep it real, mother hucker. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Greg, Greg Hughes is personally responsible for this radio attack. He says you're a hacky douche. Oh, my oh, no. God. You're gonna have, now you're going to have to fucking Call talk to this guy. Did you pick up marshmallows with your asshole, too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you Opie's gay brother from Rochester? <laughs> Um, uh, oh, this is great. Uh, shit. Remember, oh. I did say that these guys sound like they should be doing you know, better radio. Better radio. Yes, yes. I See, think uh, you sense something. And I don't want, you know, it's going to sound like I'm sticking up for the guy, but it, it's obvious the radio business got him. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that you got to fit this mold. They yeah. turned off. They turned off. Comments. Uh, oh, it's, it's oh, done. That so means now it's, it's done. They turn now he comments. knows. Um, we literally started together. He's sitting Matter there right fact, now talking about you going, that motherfucker, yeah, man. Why would he do this? Why is he doing this? You know, out and of nowhere. We were both, we were both young guys full uh, of cum uh, and even, even full of piss and vinegar even one summer in geneseo i i stayed behind and he stayed behind so we could run the radio station like we were like uh, fucking into doing radio oh, man and now we're in the uh, phase the facebook phase by the way of only they can post comments on their wall yeah but other people can post comments based on what they post. Right. So now we're in the phase of our fans commenting on their, on their posts. comments. Right, yeah. right, right. Oh, yeah. No. And so, yeah, the last thing that he read before. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Um, one person, they right. I want you at Death Valley Haunted Woods. They're advertising this thing. Yeah. And a fan comments, Greg <laughs> Opie Hughes <laughs> oh, wants Jim Chandler to shove a fudgy wudgy bar up his anus. <laughs> You fucking asshole. Oh, this is beautiful. Hey, you fucking asshole. Greg Hughes sends his best wishes and that you're queer. Jim and Opie did the elephant walk at their Geneseo fret. 
No, oh, he, he was in a, he was in the, this is terrible. the front row. Oh, oh, man. Oh, Obi, you have some explaining to do to this guy. And cool. you know what? I wasn't feeling good about this Jocktober, and it was yeah, kind of yeah. just kind of, that's why you gotta listen to Jocktober every day. You, you never know yeah, what we, fucking we, turn we, it's gonna take. You we were you know him? We, right. And, and we, they said how lazy he was? <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely. Oh, and the yes. prep burger laziness. <laughs> oh. Redoing the bits every fucking hour. It's, it's absolutely him, too. You, oh. you definitely had this thing where we were just kind of weaving through it like it's not awful like hey everybody in the I, hole and shit I yeah, but, but I, there was some underlying thing there i think i you, heard his voice i'm like yeah. wait something's not right here when, because when, i haven't thought of that guy no offense to jim in 20 years do you think that's yeah. been yeah. a long jim time after this <laughs> yeah. no offense to him. Yeah. But after calling him a, a queer question, though, when two guys do college radio together and take over the station together over the summer and everything yeah and then one of them goes on to be ridiculously successful in radio and the other does the wood and jim show (laughs) 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 do you think Obi? do you think jim remembers you of course he does of course course. he he has to know that every time not even a doubt of course they were tight back then we we kept in touch uh until he was in albany and then lost touch you always you always and you always kind of keep track of other people that you knew their radio careers every so often and and obviously we've been in, in the news <laughs> yeah. every so often it pops know, up knows. so yeah. he knows Greg Hughes oh, no. says and I quote and this is in quotation marks Jim Chandler's <laughs> mouth was a cum dumpster back in college <laughs> <laughs> you know. um, I hope he has satellite radio <laughs> one uh, satellite. someone just writes in all caps prep burger oh. uh, right under that Greg Opie Hughes misses your delicate touch Jim. <laughs> Oh, no. He's reading uh, all of these, wondering why you've turned on why him. Did you do why that? why would you do this? this? After why? all these years, why would you do he this was to me? He stabbed me in the back. Humiliate this me. This fucking kid was, he was a professional, <laughs> he was a professional in college radio. Yeah. Like, okay. I, I had a shitty Long oh. Island accent and, and knew I wanted to do this. This guy had the voice and knew what the fuck he Early was doing. On, Early on, had it set. And, uh, and just obviously never developed after uh, that. Oh, no. no this, just kidding. Well, uh-oh, what happened? Hey, Jim Chandler, Greg Opie Hughes is still pissed that you wouldn't dock with him back in Geneseo, <laughs> but he says, good luck, bro. As if there's any question as to why this is happening, yeah. uh, one commenter so literally puts it, Greg Opie Hughes told us to all come here and make rude posts. <laughs> <laughs> And it says, <laughs> Greg Hughes says that when you were in Albany, you tried to touch his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in Albany. Um, Wait, there's another one, too. Uh, Greg Opie Hughes revealed that Jim Chandler's a cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> this is why interactive this Jocktober is, is so good. This uh, has just turned so bad. <laughs> oh my god! And, uh, and I was sitting here going, "This Jocktober uh, today just sucks." <laughs> and now look at the fucking spin it takes. Uh, <laughs> and the, the lovely and talented. Let me look Colin at it. Let me look at this picture in the room too. Oh, hey, Colin. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> Colin. Uh, to to sum it up, have you been listening? To what's happened? We we do Jocktober every October, and uh, we goof on radio shows that we deem and that Sam deems uh, uh not, not a little hacky, Shitty. you know, a little hacky. Uh, so we were featuring uh, Woody and Jim today, and uh, as uh, after pounding them for like relentlessly for a half an hour, Opie realized he went to college with one of them, and he's a cool guy. And, and <laughs> we, they started radio together. They started radio together. <laughs> like I've been at this a really long. I, I've been doing this since eighteen. Guess what? When I was eighteen, I, I I knew that guy. And now now Opie could say what he wants to try to get out of this, but yeah. the listeners have already <laughs> gone to the Facebook page and started posting things like Greg Opie Hughes says he's mad at you. Because you wouldn't suck his cock back in college. He says so, you stink. The fans are being horrible. They, I love the, the fans image. are being a complete I, asshole. Of, of Opie I would and this absolutely guy Jim. consider this guy a friend. Yeah, well, you guys. I haven't seen him in a long time. But I'm friends like page, you. But you guys in the radio station. I was too busy together. being a big radio star, Colin. I yeah. didn't have time for him, but I would consider him a friend. Oh my god! Taking over the radio station together in the summer is like the two of you. Just oh, all yeah. you had. You were that's just that. powered by your dreams. That was the guys yeah. that really wanted it. That's you two against the world. That's a storyline for a movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. A buddy movie. You want to hear uh, Gender Wars? Well, have the fans <laughs> yeah. say anything yeah. like, hey, he didn't mean it or not? Well, one person said, <laughs> Greg Hughes fucked Jim Chandler's wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, not, that's just not right. Oh, <laughs> that's dead. not right. One person said, today on ONA, Greg Hughes <laughs> confesses to ejaculating in Jim Chandler's <laughs> underpants while he was sleeping. Uh, Opie <laughs> wants to know if you remember the gang rape on the pinball machine. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I think... 
I'm not oh, positive. Opie. Opie says go back to college radio. <laughs> I think we were roommates. I now that I think about it. Oh show, shit! It gets worse. I, uh, 107 in Nashville, the river. Nashville. The river. Yeah. I think we were roommates. For <laughs> really, I think. I, I yes. mean, when I was in Geneseo, I was like, I was pretty much a freeloader because I didn't have much money. So I, I, I probably lived in 12 different places. Yeah. But I think one of them. I think he was actually a roommate you, for a while. You think you were roommates? Wow. Wow, that's brutal. This man. is stuff I haven't thought about in, he's like gonna I said, take, 20 years. He's going to take this very personally. Very you want, personally. Okay. You want to hear him? <laughs> well, well, AIDS and stuff on Facebook oh. says, Opie always hated you because <laughs> you're always a bottom. <laughs> uh, uh, see, uh, Jim Chandler. Well, while they add yeah, new comments, uh, why don't we Opie listen? Hughes says he always hated Jim in college. Well, they add new comments. Why don't we listen to the rest right. of the track? This, this is, morning that yeah. uh, Hugh Jackman right admitted there. to... Uh, Peeing his pants. Mm -hmm. What an embarrassment. Um, Megan, at any time in your life, uh, <laughs> have you ever had an accident? The only one I can recall is when I was a kid. <laughs> How old were you? I'd 18. say probably day three. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what about you, Terry? Yeah, I can't remember the last time I did. I'm sure I have. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blackout. Whatever night it happened. You know, yeah. Well, uh, Matt writes from New Hampshire, Opie jumps on homeless people's food but doesn't want to hurt some zilches' feelings. Yeah, man. Some zilch. Started radio zilch. with the guy. Yeah. Jim, yeah. Uh, Greg Opie Hughes said you jerked off to horseplay from, in college. <laughs> uh, we kind of did like the same radio show like together. Oh, I think he was like doing oh. the news or something for the oh, show. Oh, that's... Uh... That was pretty good. What was he asking that lady about? Can How about a microphone there, Colin Quinn? What was he asking that lady about? It was a, it was a battle of the sexes oh, yeah. on right. the radio, yeah. which I think a minute ago we said was really hacky and terrible. The funny <laughs> thing... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. No, 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 I'm just... just to some you know what, though? Up. In all fairness, Jim Chandler knows better. He knows this shit. But I'll bet you that Jim He's Chandler... Nice, but what do you want him to do? It's too specific. Good like point. Jim Chandler probably thinks you said this stuff because, like, wow, we did go to college together, and yeah. oh, no, he does know it's me. Why did he send all his fans to my Facebook page? Yeah, why would he do that? We were friends. They said goodbye. They hugged goodbye after a couple of beers. Yeah. Hey, man, good luck with your career. You too. Bro. Yeah, I'll yeah, see you soon. Yeah. I'm sure we'll hook up down the road. Maybe yeah, do a show. Yeah. 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 Hey, best of luck, man. And this yeah. is how they hook up down the road. You know, we're trash the <laughs> we're all in this together, <laughs> man. Right, with friends like this, who needs enemies? Oh, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah. That was a salient point. <laughs> you want the last track? Of course. We're in this deep. Hey, yeah. why did they laugh wrong, when that guy wrong. said he didn't remember when the last time he peed his pants was? That wasn't a, that wasn't Good. funny. Oh, now Sam. <laughs> now it you understand, Sam? Please, don't, it was don't. hysterically funny, and there was a reason for the laughter. <laughs> I hope he just glares at me and taps. I can't. I just can't on this one. You have, we literally in college together. With all you had was your dreams, and you were running the college station in the summer, it thinking, was, <laughs> "Wait till we're really doing this. It was Maybe we'll do a show together." It was yeah. WGSU, college radio, uh, and he was one of the guys I started. Uh, with. Him and a few burnouts from my fraternity that are good friends of mine that uh, you know did a, did their dumb radio shows. And how do you how anywhere. do you treat them? You've met him, <laughs> Buzzy and, and Fred. Jim should expect guys. a call from Greg Hughes in October 2012. Uh, I got his uh, Twitter account. Thank you, Kevin. I got some explaining to do. What's his oh, Twitter account? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not saying. Oh. oh. Here's the last track. <laughs> 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 Multiple <laughs> choice question <laughs> starts. All right. Megan, ladies first. Here we go. Oh. Is Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy, a That's famous author, race car driver, or poker player? Author. I know that one. Poker player. <laughs> no. Oh. No, he's an author. All right, Terry, here's a multiple choice question for you. Is Greg a Opie Hughes a, a scumbag or clutch? <laughs> Backstabber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet the answer would be yes right there, Ant. Oh, Chip. Uh, Iraq, what did I say before I realized <laughs> that I know this guy really well from the old days? Said he was lazy. What did I say? <laughs> Chip remembers that shit. Yeah, he did say he was yeah, lazy. Yeah, he did say he was lazy. He said he used his prep burger and that he doesn't work hard and he probably shouldn't be any further along than he is. Yeah. I believe it's that's just lazy radio. Yeah, it's lazy and radio. That's just lazy How radio. How the fuck do you get that job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said what? that. How oh, yeah. easy is it without they play music uh, and, yeah. and then just talk for a minute? And you said they sound phony because they're always just doing the same stories and not even saying that they did right, it earlier. Right, yeah. um, I think I said that. It was mean spirit. Well, yeah, but he agreed. One, said, <laughs> one person's comment.
commenting. <laughs> well, maybe the business broke him down. gasoline on the fire. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Jim. even worse to say that about him. Yeah, that, you're saying he's got no backbone. O- Ope says it like, hey, listen, man, I apologize. The business just broke you down, yeah. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have you just hate me. And yeah, yeah. Don't patronize me. You know, just someone like me, I'm a I, was able to, man. I was able to transcend that whole thing and make it in the business, <laughs> but you got beaten down yeah. and weren't being able to become Oh, God, if we, didn't have, if we didn't have a national show, I would not be in this business. It's like, I pity yeah. you, Jim. I wouldn't be in That's one fucking not. market at this age. Get I don't hate you. you. I pity you, Jim. I pity, yeah, I pity one, you. Jim, Opie says, drop dead. Your show sucks. <laughs> Choke on a big, juicy black dick. <laughs> But I didn't say that. Uh, well, uh, your credit is saying that. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't matter now. It's on a I Facebook page. I did say page. It's true. that they sound like they should be doing better radio. Well, and they sound that's all he said. And he I said did, like they're not living up to their I, potential. And I gave them an A plus in their radio voices. Let's yes. remember that. Oh, yes, that is true. Well, but he always had guy. that voice. Even at 18, he had that voice, which was yeah, kind of creepy. Oh, very creepy when you're sleeping in your room. He comes, <laughs> Opie, you awake? Opie, Opie, Opie yeah. wake up. I'd like to feel a couple of warm lips. Let's do some oh, radio together. Something's turgid. <laughs> it's turgid. Uh, I think we lived together for a little while. Tom Clancy from, novels together. Somebody says Across that, from GJ. What was it? Uh, GJ's, yeah. Do you think he'll have his feelings hurt if somebody wrote, they say Jim is an Opie wannabe? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> he was absolutely ahead of me. He'll think that you're... Uh, he had fucking uh, more skills than I did. stuff is too specific, though. It sounds like you're probably saying it on the... Like, I would yeah. believe that if I read it. He'll yeah. think you're on your yeah. national satellite radio show saying, that fucking guy was always an Opie wannabe. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> or Clutch. Which purse is the smallest? <laughs> I said Clutch. Uh, clutch. The Clutch. Yeah. That's correct. There you go. Yeah. Yes, you were on the board. With the I first right answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, get back in the game with this one, Megan. During the middle of what inning do baseball crowds sing Seventh. Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Uh, no, they sing that in the first third. inning if there's rain. No. <laughs> <laughs> they could do it, but that would, wouldn't be as organized. Uh, yeah, it would make it even longer. <laughs> <laughs> they do it in the seventh inning for the seventh inning <laughs> stretch. All right, right, Terry. Uh, you are in a very good position here, because oh, if you get yeah. this one right, Doggy there's time. no way she can come back and beat you. The town of Salem. Yeah. Salem is the setting for what long-running soap opera? Oh. The, the, the uh, Witches of Our Lives. Of our lives. Dave. Yes! Dave. You're kidding! You Dave. got that! Terry, wow. is that your story? What's that? Is, is that, that your story? story? Is that the soap opera you watch? I used to. All right. Cool. <laughs> Everybody has the history. Like, I used okay. to watch it with my mom. Oh, no. <laughs> my mom made me watch it. <laughs> Stepping on the mirror. Wow, Terry. I love that Good show. job. You are the winner. Those guys weren't bad. <laughs> oh, <fine>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're not bad. Well, yeah, one person says, don't worry, Jim. Greg, with two Gs, explain to us how we have to make all these same jokes in about 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> do you understand I never tap out? I even go after my own mom, but in this yeah. case, I, I absolutely tapped out. That's yeah. uh, an, old, an old friend, an old colleague, Because an old it's roommate. not the guy. It's that it brought up a time when Ope was innocent. Oh, yes. That's true, it yeah. Was, it, it, it was a time of innocent. innocent time. Yeah. When you felt like, wow, I never thought I'd get We're this Take on the world. A time yeah. of we're, dreams. We're not going to trash other people. We used to sit around and drink beers like, you know, someday we'll both be in New York radio. Oh, but your life, was, your life was through the windshield, <laughs> not in the rearview mirror. Yeah. Unfortunately, so, it only happened. And now, <laughs> where is it? Eagerly looking forward. Yes. Right. Listen, you got yes. these comments include... Greg Hughes is a multimillionaire. How about you, Jim? Oh. Uh, now it's just getting personal. Opie is glad that you failed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's not going to be happy reading any of these. It's only just begun. That's the best yes. says, Greg Hughes says he likes you, Jim. Not really. He dislikes you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that is absolutely... Huh. Uh, but how about this? Somebody's Weird. pointing out Jim Chandler's no friend of Opie. He isn't even following him on the Twitter. Ah. Now, Jim Chandler isn't well, following you. Well, how do they know what Jim Chandler's Twitter is even? Uh, people are very uh, easy. Oh, okay. uh, I mean, it's easy to say at Jim Chandler 1075. Well, I'm reading on Facebook. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. All right. I take it back. I take that back. Why Everyone forget. Do... Forget I said that. Why would you Forget I that? said that. Oh. According to Greg Hughes, Whoopsie. Jim Chandler suffers from extreme herpes. <laughs> I don't know that. So you said on the Facebook. Oh, I wish I hadn't oh, said no, that. Oh, 
He was more like uh, I just reloaded he was it very professional appeared. with his approach to radio, and I was yeah. like the loose cannon even in college. Like yeah, he that w- happens. He was uh, about being in management and doing the oh, proper no. structured show. Sure, and I was and like, that's what he's doing. And I was yeah. like, fuck that. Let me get some of my drunk fraternity brothers on the air and see what happens. That, that's his First dream. Why the hell were you in Tennessee? That's the other question. No, there was ah, he see. Oh, that's yeah, the he other moved. thing. Radio guys move around a lot, and I I've certainly have moved a few times, but I bet you this guy has moved quite a lot. Oh, yeah. In the last 20 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, he's not from Nashville. He's, he's up from upstate New York somewhere. He's oh, uprooted. No. Oh, no, like Scorch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah scorch. He used to work in Albany. I got a... Uh, Listen. A lot of... Uh, I got, I got uh, 600,000 people downloaded my uh, app. Yeah. They, uh, really? You, there's, there's, nothing, nothing. there's nothing to look at. Their Facebook page has been taken down. So now, oh, so no. now the guy knows. Oh, now the guy no. knows. They, oh, took, no, they, took, they took down the entire page. Yes, they now did. my old friend knows. Oh. That's the second Facebook page we've taken down this week. He's it, known yeah. actually <laughs> for a few minutes. And he probably was wondering why was it continuing. Yeah. <laughs> That why? is the second Facebook page right. that has been taken down this week because why does of Jack keep Tober. talking about me. El Toto in oh. Brooklyn. Opie sounds so uncomfortable. Absolutely. Oh my. This I mean, is should, a very rare thing that I tap out. You should call them on the air and apologize. You really should. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll be quiet true. in the background. Yeah. We won't say anything. I think <laughs> you should. Yeah. I, I'll talk to him. I, I'll, I'll talk to him. Yeah. See if we can get him. You should try to get some of the other guys. Let's try to get him on here with. Yeah, true. But you gotta, you gotta straighten this out. I don't yeah. think, cause, cause, you know what? This'll only fester in his head. Like, yeah. he'll be like, oh my god, fucking Opie, what the fuck is he doing? Right. Why is he doing this to me? I Why? mean, the guy Why? said that you dislike him. I'm trying to remember his real name, too. He's used, uh, Jim Chandler for a long time. That's, That's not his real name? name? Uh-uh, I'm trying to remember Jim. Uh, no. It's not, uh, Jim Crow? It's not yes, uh, it what's him. that fucking Just Jim, ask him, was Chuck Jim Roast? Chuck, is it Chuck Roast? Chandler. Chuck Roast, I think. Is it Chuck Roast? Is that his real name? Is that his real name? Chuck <laughs> Roast. <laughs> Who the fuck would use that name is on the radio? Oh, that's right. Colin, you understand when you <laughs> first started Roast. in comedy, there's <laughs> those guys you started with and you had Roast. dreams. Oh. Were, exactly. We're just <laughs> crashing everything and destroying things. Did right. you guys ever oh but did you guys ever sit around drinking a few beers? Uh, in, in the where, when you uh, were roomies and just talk about like your plans for radio. Oh yeah, our approach was certainly different, but we were like, man, man they got a little buzz on. They get a little business. buzz on. You're like, man, you know what? We are the new fucking voice of radio, man. Not this old school right. shit. Yeah. These fucking Carol Ma- jocks yeah, and Carol shit. Miller and. Yeah, yeah. We're we're the new voice, man. Yeah. We're gonna make clink and they're constantly clinking their fucking beer yeah. bottles together, drinking. Oh, it's gonna be great. Fast forward to now. He's fucking sitting there going, That prick <laughs> What did he do? Why? Yeah. Why would he yeah, do like, that? Like, said. How is he how is he doing well? I practice my radio yes. voice. And that fucker's a, has a national show. He stammers half the fucking oh, time. God. And what school is this like I was talking about myself, yes. What school was that? Uh, Geneseo. 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 I thought so, yeah. That was great. Yeah. Just uh, a couple of guys. Uh, nice yeah, Anthony, you're being corrected. They're road sodas. Oh, well, you're having a couple <laughs> sure of road sodas. I'm sure we've had some sodas. road sodas. Yeah, yeah road motherfucker. Sodas. Yeah, look at that. Any road Did sodas? that just happen? We just uh, made fun yeah. of someone that literally I started radio with. Oh, Destroyed yeah. him. No, it wasn't even made fun of. It was no, brutalized. It was started, a brutalization. Yeah. How many Twitter Facebook page? Oh, wait, that's oh, his, his personal, personal Facebook, Facebook page. page. He looks like a nice guy. Oh, yeah, look, he studied speech communication at State University of New York at Geneseo. Hey, like there you. he is. Does it say all the stations he had to work at? Uh, right now, well, Clear Channel Communications. Uh-huh. Uh, WFLY, The Fly. In Albany. College. He's, Albany. he's there with a link to Geneseo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could look up his old alumni. You're probably on there. And... What the hell's he been doing for 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not much on that page, huh? How many followers does he have? On oh, t- it's got to be. On Twitter? Uh, he's got to have. Well, how many are you up to, Opie? I don't know. Opie's got about 116. Thousand. Yeah. Yeah, it's up there. What does this guy got? You you should have had a hundred Colin. Colin, <laughs> Colin's yeah. very self destructive. What's wrong with you? That's like that's a milestone that a lot of people hope to reach. I know. I was very <laughs> happy when I reached it. I was very proud for the. What are you doing? It lasted about four hours. <laughs> Literally four hours. I was over a hundred thousand. I was back. And now you're down to like eighty no, something. Like, no, I lost about twenty five hundred that day. Because you just kept retweeting everything. It was funny jokes. 
Colin, <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I uh, I witnessed ever. I would just First of all, I, I just told, sat and read your Twitter for probably four straight hours. I told you, silly producer, I wanted to come in today. Did you see what I tweeted the other day? Bad blood by Neil Sedaka. Uh-huh. I demand that video for Midnight Special be shown. I wanted to enter to Bad Blood. I tweeted it and I just, just clicked the link. And anybody who tweeted it was like, I hate you for life. It's one of the best. you got to see his jeans, his dance. It's just fantastic, it, right? Oh, hey, uh, yeah. Sam, Kelly, people, watch it. people are saying you might have set me up. <gasps> Sam. How would I know who you went to college with? Oh, right? shit. Oh, There's people out there that shit. know shit. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. By the way, Sam was getting a little overzealous on the shit hour with uh, uh, the name change of the station with the Opie and Anthony channel oh. and saying that the, the 10 to 11 should be the mm. Sam Roberts channel. Mm. Yeah. Sam is trying to fuck you over here for your job. But be honest. Yeah, he, can, he can have yeah. it. A name like Sam <laughs> Roberts does seem point. like a showbiz name. Oh, it is. It's Sam got Roberts. got a natural charisma to it. Primetime no, Sam Roberts Sam. calls himself. Yes. Primetime Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts. Ugh. It is. I'm Sam Roberts with you. Horrible. Are we, How uh, you doing? Are we finding out more info about him? The, his Twitter Married? Loading. Kids? He's married. Yeah, he's married with kids. How many kids? Two. How old? I don't know what their ages are. You probably got married like when you're supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Not when you're in your 40s. <laughs> well, we had very you, different paths. How, how could you marry a young chick when you're in your fucking 20s? When you're, huh? you're, well, you can. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trace. Patrice O'Neal. In the hizzy. Come on in, man. Take a seat. Sam Roberts, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we should, why don't we break? We could break. Patrice O'Neal, Colin Quinn, uh, joining the show. Yeah. Sorry, Jim Chandler. Whoa, that, whoa, whoa. that I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're going to have to fucking... You got some personal explaining to do to that gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. You have to explain. If he knows anything about your career, he would know the, 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 the caliber of, of listener that we right. have. Yeah. And understand how those posts can uh, end up on his Facebook yeah. page. Yeah. He you know. probably knows he attacked him for a little while, and then it just got crazy. And then realized, you know, you're gonna have to sit there and be like, you know, hey, uh, uh, I'm just gonna turn off all my shit and hope it goes away. Is that what you're gonna do? just hope like it goes anyone else? Hope it goes <laughs> like away. anyone else? Not checking my Twitter, Facebook, yeah. nothing for a while. People are saying just blame Sam. Yeah, I'm gonna blame. It's a good Sam. idea. Hey, Patrice is wearing a vest. What are you going wrapped into something? That's a good one, Chip. Whew. That's how it starts. <laughs> you just get, Patrice just got a pained look on his face when he walked in. He goes, "October." <laughs> no, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Oh, we, we, trying, wait, we waited. We were trying yeah, to get we it were, done before you got here. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. knew you didn't want to deal with that, with that horse shit. shit. I know, uh, but this time we didn't know. Opie knows one of the guys. Didn't know he knew the guy until after we trashed started him. in radio. Brutal, radio. and the fans College were brutal. Radio. Yeah, they were brutal. Think about the yeah. think about the guys you started in comedy with. You really would leave them alone, wouldn't you? No. Bob <laughs> Kelly? Well, you guys, you guys are Bob different. Bob Kelly? No. <laughs> you guys are different. You're was, brutal all no, the time. No, but that was a real brutalization. We wouldn't yeah. brutalize people that we know for real, like be really mean. Yeah. Like that was genuine. It would be in love. Yeah. Right. That wasn't loving. No. no, no I just I thought was, he's I, lazy. He's terrible. He's I just thought it was just another radio schmuck. <laughs> song parodies. And, and when I heard the voice, phoniness. I'm like, something's not right And here. let's get one thing straight. The guys he started with in comedy, Dane Cook, Bill Burr, they leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a good Colin. Alan. Colin Quinn, Patrice, next. You'll be 